Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So if this is your first time here, my name is Sandra Akidenor. Please do not forget to hit your subscribe button and turn on your bell for the OGs. You guys are the best. So today I'll be making croca fish, grilled croca fish. So I'll be using peppers and um, bell peppers green red and some um, seasoning cubes salt and curry and vegetable oil for frying my sauce so now I'm gonna put two cooking spoons of um, vegetable oil in the hot pan and pour in my blended onion in fry for about two minutes before adding my blended peppers and I'm adding the pepper. I'm gonna fry for additional three to five minutes until it's cooked through. Yeah, I like it this way because um, you don't get to taste raw onion or raw pepper when you grill your fish. Now, adding my seasoning. Next, I'll add the curry and the salt. So I'm just gonna fry this for about three to five minutes. You don't need to fry for long because it's still gonna go on top. Um, still gonna go into the fish, and you're still gonna grill the fish. So yeah. To three to five minutes is fine so now this is my fish I'm gonna put them on the grill to dry out I just like them to dry I don't like it um, watery or looking like cooked fish I like it to look like grilled fish like dried so yeah you see I dried out the water I still have my skin on so good so now we're gonna cut the fish with the sauce you're gonna cut it all through inside the fish to let the sauce really go into the fish so if you do not like pepper you could just use one or two scotch bonnets or habaneros and uh, more bell peppers to replace the pepper so yeah an onion yeah you don't need tomatoes so you just um, you could just play with um, the different um, peppers so now I'm gonna wrap it up in foil Yeah, it's all wrapped up. So this is the second one. It's really dry. I like it really dried, like this. This is how I like it, like almost burnt. Like, yeah, I like the crunchy skin. <laughs> so now we're cutting this one with the sauce also. So you can use this sauce for catfish, tilapia. Uh, what other fish now? Well, you can use it for any fish you want to grill. It's nice, it tastes really good, and it's simple and easy. So, on to the grill. So, we're gonna grill this for about 40 minutes, 20 minutes on each side, and with the smell, you smell the the wonderful, glorious, ugh, mm, mm, mm. So now for the sides, you can use um, yam, potatoes, or plantains. So I'm using plantain, and I will be slicing them um, differently, like um, fries or chips, because I I like it like that with my fish. Like I, I don't like to slice the sides, especially when I'm using plantain, like. The regular doodoo -doo style no I like to slice it like um, chips or fries style it just makes it more fun like you pick one eat your fish pick one eat your fish is more fun yeah so now I'm frying my plantain plantain is all done and our fish is done this is the one I like, the one with the charred um, skin, the burnt one. Yeah, I'm weird. <laughs> I like burnt stuff sometimes. Like I like to burn my food sometimes, especially my jello fries. I like to burn it. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> so yeah, um, the fish is ready to eat.
like if you have more sauce left you can put them on top if you have more of the fried sauce left you can put it on top but i don't have any left so yeah you see it's cooked all the way through yeah like it's well done <laughs> to taste that one be cool so now i'm gonna make my coleslaw i just got store bought um carrot and cabbage sliced and mix it with mayo our coleslaw is ready so lime on the side if you like i'm um, sorry lemon guys sorry my bad lemon if you like lemon i like lemon with my fish so you squeeze some on top and you were good to go yeah that's our easy simple grilled fish thanks for watching